The World Health Organization is coming under fire this week for its delayed response to last year's Ebola outbreak. A panel of international experts are assessing the response and whether the pandemic could have been averted. Dr. Amar Safdar is an infectious disease specialist at New York University's Medical Center, and he's joining us here in our New York studios. Dr. Safdar, good to see you. See you as well. So according to these international experts, there's a lot of criticism about uh, how the World Health Organization handled this. Sure. The question is, what should they have done and how much faster should they have responded? Right. So what the panel is assessing or the assessment is that uh, in March of last year, until August, when things really started to get warmed up as far as response was concerned, um, you know, hindsight is always very crisp and clear. Mm -hmm. um, it's, um, there's so many other factors involved for WHO because now we know what happened. It, it wasn't expected because it has never happened before for Ebola to behave the way it did as an outbreak. But we've had Ebola outbreaks in the past, particularly if I remember correctly, particularly sure. in the 90s. So sure. how is this one different and why wasn't that discerned? That's a great question. So we have been talking about this for the past several months, that what was so unusual about this Ebola outbreak, this is the largest outbreak of its kind of Ebola virus disease um, or related viruses that causes hemorrhagic fever in, in, in uh, Africa. Uh, 26,600 plus infected patients and just slightly over 11,000 deaths. Um, there have been other outbreaks, but they have been very limited and small and relatively easier to contain. This is the first time that the outbreak actually happened in North, or it's not really North, but, but Western African countries. Right. And it, it, you know, there's a contrast between the three countries where it seemed to have gotten out of control for a while. And, and in the week of May 3rd, this is the smallest number of confirmed cases that WHO have reported, which is 18. Mm. And Liberia is now declared as free of Ebola, right. as you must have heard. Yes. So I, I think that there, there are not nuances, but there were very clear differences in how the infrastructure was, how much funds a nation could divert into dealing with such an acute crisis, which really kept on building on itself and had a life of its own, so to speak. And you raised the issue that I wanted to ask you about was, is this about money, about resources? Well, one of the things, but other things that the, the panel looked at was uh, how sensitive WHO had to be and has to be, uh, even in future outbreaks, for being sensitive to what is political situation on the ground, um, what are the religious issues, because there, there was something raised by the panel that they didn't want it to raise an unnecessary alert or cause chaos before the, the Muslim pilgrimage to Mecca, the Hajj. Mm -hmm. So you see stuff like that. So it, it is very easy to sit back and say, ah, this was an, an you know, inexcusable sort of approach because thousands and tens of thousands of people getting this infection. But then again, nothing before or, or prior outbreaks told us that this is what to be expected in the coming months. Mm -hmm. does, all the, does all the culpability fall on the World Health Organization? I mean, there are aid groups that are already in the area that went in very quickly. Of course, as we know, cases came to the U.S., particularly the Liberian man uh, who died of Ebola here in the U.S., and we were not equipped for it. We weren't ready. Yeah, you, you raise a fantastic point. So we are very advanced in our medical care, our, our medical infrastructure in this country and also in Europe, uh, especially Western Europe. Um, and for us, not, not to arrive in, in, a, in a remote sort of, ur you know, away from the urban areas, someone actually arrives in, in a large metropolis in this country mm -hmm. and we all know what happened. That being Dallas, yes, right. Yes. So I, I, I think, again, as it, it, it is something that you go along and learn from your mistakes. And I think this panel has pointed out very, very, very clearly that, that what WHO may want to factor in, in, in if there were to be future outbreaks or future cases of Ebola after this is over, which, which seems like it is, it is the tail end of it. Mm -hmm. uh, but you're absolutely right that WHO cannot be held responsible for every response to all infectious diseases. CDC did play a very important role. Especially here in the United States. Here in the 
United States and also in Africa. Yeah, yeah. Well, what we all can hope is that those lessons were learned. Dr. Amar Safdar, thank you so much. Thank Good you. To see you.